Hey everybody, welcome back. My name's Kanan and thanks for joining me for my review of Aerial Platforms for the PC. Specifically, Steam. Aerial Platformers is like one of those speedrunner games, but instead of, well, speedrunning on running into a certain direction, you're basically parkouring your way through levels. Each level, level has a timer and basically this ticks down and if you run out of time, well, the level ends and you have to start again. But don't worry, there are end objectives and a end goal to each of these levels, even if it does take you... Oh, good grief, how long did it take me to get through the first level? Well, let's put it this way. At first, I actually thought it was a game where you have to out-survive the timer. But then as the game went on, it didn't make any sense for that. And then I saw the actual checkpoints at the end of the level. This game is hard as nails, as in to say it is rather unforgiving in the way that if you die at a certain point, and don't get me wrong, I haven't got through the 50 levels that comes with the campaign because, well, it's just too difficult. Although I will say I am enjoying the experience. Talking about the campaign, there are two different modes, the campaign and time trial maps. Now the campaign, I'm guessing, is the main body of the game, where basically you go from level to level, traversing through platforms, jumping and avoiding lasers and all sorts of different things. And they all basically have one objective, and that is to stop your run dead where you are, and unfortunately start the level once again. And yeah, it took me such a long time to get past the first level and most of this is coming from the time trial maps so that I can show you some different areas in the game. My daughter did try it out and well, like me she did actually enjoy the experience. She had a very good go at the first level, almost completed it and I have to admit it has that frustrating getting a bit further, a bit further, a bit further tendency to it and to that when you actually get right to the last platforms and die, oh it's like being punched, it really does. And talk about being punched, there are certain parts of certain levels that basically almost jump out at you and whilst you're going at speeds this isn't really a good mechanic or at least I felt it sometimes, not always, a little unfair. But then you start again, you know they're there and yeah I get the whole principle around this but that one death that kind of like is pointless apart from to say this is here, now go and run back and uh, avoid it. Kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't sit well with me. And to them ends, the controls were okay for a game like this. They were pretty sensitive, all the hallmarks were there, you controlled left and right either with the keyboard or the mouse. And along with these main controllers, you also had a double jump and a air dash which is quite self-explanatory when you actually get to use it but the main mechanic that i was using to get from platform to platform was basically the speed up mechanic and this really did help but you had to time it right you can't just use it randomly you have to use it at certain key moments in order to get across to certain other levels all this being said and when the other mechanics were added and used I had no real issues with the controls and to them ends nor did my eight year old daughter so I'm thinking it's probably good for most people but I can definitely see this not being everybody's cup of tea considering it is rock solid I mean pfft, wow I must have reset the level Oh, I'd hate to say hundreds of times, but at least about 20 times before I got to the end of it. Although, as I said, there are those time trial levels, and you can use these like I did to come away from the main campaign and kind of like just have a different mindset for a little while. Graphically, however, it weren't too bad. It wasn't the best, but what do you expect from a game like this? This is exactly what I thought it would look like. A bit weird, a bit shapey, if you like. Each level kind of like holding a different, unique nuss to it, I suppose. And you can kind of see that the devs are trying their best to keep them different, keep them fresh, and <laughs> keep those surprises coming. Although I will admit that there are some levels that were more outstanding than others and some that 
clearly had some lovely details even if they were like still images of things. Sound wise I found the music pretty decent. I didn't turn it down. Certain levels were calming and kind of helpful and other levels were kind of arousing and gotcha going if you know what I mean. And to most part it actually felt appropriate to the levels which was good. The actual sound effects to the game however were kind of basic and really forgettable. Wasn't really much in here at all but again it was kind of what I expected for a game like this and to be honest with you when you get into those zen moments you just don't really realize there's much sound going on anyway because you're really not paying attention to it and with that let's get on with a score shall we in short aerial platforms is a great parkour distraction from many other games that are out at the moment it kind of like has that feel of an endless runner but you do get goals which kind of adds to it for me. The different levels or <laughs> the ones that I've seen so far are well made and don't actually feel unfair to a degree. But as I said that I don't think is the nature of the game. It is one of those ones that you get so far and you have to die and remember to avoid whatever it was again on your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth run. And those time trials just added an extra bit of icing on the top. The fact that I'm 48 and my daughter is 8 and we both have enjoyed this game and to some degree trying to beat each other's distance and score is in fact that cherry on top. I asked my daughter what she wanted to score it at. She said 10 out of 10. Me, I'm not quite at 10 out of 10, but I will be going for a 7 out of 10. It could have been slightly better, but I didn't like those little almost jump scares if you like. And to be honest, I would have liked the option to turn down the sensitivity of the controller. And if I've missed that and not actually seen it, which I don't think I have, then I apologise here and now. And with that, thank you for joining me. It's been great having you. Take care of yourselves out there because you're such wonderful people. Hit us up in our community Discord. Link is down below. Because life is better when we game together.